What's up, Doggy Dolphers? I uh, just wanted to do a disclaimer. This is a video for class, and this is not about disc golf. Um, with that out the way, though, um, my name's Douglas Fair. Um, first, I'm gonna show you my dot coloring book. I um, wasn't really sure what I was going for with this, but um, I made the star, the star one. Um, it's I like this because it kind of folds up into like a uh, like a one square and it's easy to like I don't know just like put away and stuff but it's it's super cool though like with this one I put a lot of water on it and then it was all about dots so then I just drew like bigger dots like circles and then kept going and then I just kept changing the colors up and then on this one I did a little bit of salt so put the water on and then I believe I painted it yellow and then I put the sole on it. I was kind of trying to go for like a sun type vibe here, like pretending that this would be the sun. And then I thought about drawing the beach on the water, but I didn't, I don't know. And then let me show you my favorite one. This isn't my favorite one, but uh, this one I put a uh, crayon on. So I drew crayon on and then I put water on and then I just mixed a bunch of colors on it with that one. Um, yeah, let me try to get to the my favorite one. Yeah, there we go. This one's my favorite dot color because just all the, the purple and like the yellow and the red, I just like how it all like contrasts all of each other. But this was a really fun project to, to make. Um, this was way more fun than doing homework and I could totally see this being used in like a classroom for students, you know, instead of like doing something boring like reading and writing, uh, they can express themselves in art in this way. So that's pretty cool. That was my star. <clears throat> and then for now, my brainstorming part of it. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is trying to pro like portray the message that you can do anything you put your mind to so in sixth grade i wanted to learn how to do a backflip right and for the longest time um i wanted to do it so it took me about three months i put my mind to it and i taught myself how to do a backflip but it wasn't easy i um I had to do many things like um the first time i learned to do a backflip um was at sky zone my friends were teaching me and that took like about an hour but that was fun i was like oh my god i can do this this is pretty cool and then it kind of got me thinking i started doing it on my friend's trampoline me and my friend we would jump at his house and you know um we just kept doing backflips and i am just kept thinking i kind of want to do this on the ground so then Next, it's me um, watching YouTube videos on how to uh, how to do a backflip on the ground and just the the steps to go through to do it. And then, as you see here, it's me going through the motions, just stepping my leg. Wait, no, yep, stepping my leg back, and then kind of like throwing my arms up, and then curling into a ball, and then finally landing it. So it was just kind of me going through the motions and learning it. And then here is a neighbor's um, like wall. And I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I ended up doing like a flip off the highest one. It was probably about like five feet. And I landed it on like concrete and I was like, oh my God, I could do it. And I kept just going lower until I kept landing it. I kept going lower until I landed it. And eventually that gave me the confidence to then try a backflip on a slight downhill with the mat there and then I landed it once. Um, I need to find that footage because I know I, I recorded myself landing it the first time and I was so excited. I was like, let's have and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, uh, that's that's gonna be my, um, my little journey thing. I think I'm gonna do an accordion book. Um, I am a little concerned if I do the accordion book how to do it I'm, i know on d2l there's things i might go look up a video how to do it but i just want to do it right because i'm a very visual learner so you know kind of reading that i was like a little intimidated by it but 
I'm, I think I'll be able to figure it out. Another concern of mine is how big I'm gonna have the accordion book because I want it to express the drawing well, but also it look good, which is another concern of mine is my drawing. I'm not the best artist. Um, as you kind of saw from the sketches I did here, it took me about like 20 minutes to do all of that. And it's, not great, but um, but yeah, I'm thinking about doing an accordion book. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna be my project. Basically, it's you can do anything you put your mind to. Just don't give up and try your hardest. But yep, those are my concerns. Those are that's my plan, and um, I hope you guys give me good feedback. Um, I hope I was clear enough with what I was doing, and thank you guys. Um, check out my disc golf channel, it's pretty cool.